know that you're a phoenix, so rise up from all those ashes today. Yeah, you were scarred, but you a czar. You can call it to the grave. I know you know that a lion's inside, sleeping in your heart. Step back and remember who you what up, Pride? It's your boy Mari back again with another reaction video. Today we're getting into part seven of Hamilton, picking up right where I left off in part six. A lot of people in the comment section said that I paused right before their favorite song, which sorry, I didn't know it was your favorite song, but we will be getting into that today. I am very excited because again, a lot of people said that this part is going to be totally awesome. So uh, without further ado, let's get into this. If you're new here, definitely make sure to subscribe, not to miss any more of my future parts to the Hamilton reaction. I have like another half Half of Hamilton to go so definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button not to miss out on those parts but let's get into this and I'll see all you guys on the other side Monsieur Hamilton. Monsieur Lafayette. In command where you belong. Are you saying no sweats? We're finally on the field. We've had quite a run. Immigrants. We, we get, get the, the job, job done. done. <laughs> so what are we doing? I go back to France. Here we be again. I am not going away, ma. Sha. I am not going away, ma. Sha. I am not just like a country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. And I'm not going away, ma. Sha. Okay, so, uh, d d several... Thoughts. I'm about to talk about motifs again, just just for the record. I don't know if the motif conversation has been bothering y'all. Uh, if you're enjoying me bringing up the motifs and basically every, it's, it's basically happening in every song at this point. So I'm bringing up in every video at this point. Uh, if if that is bugging you, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, if you are enjoying the the motif discussion, let me know in the comment section down below. I know that most of you guys have picked up on most of these motifs, but for those of you who haven't, some people have said that I pointed out some motifs that they hadn't previously realized. And so that's part of the reason why I'm pointing it out. And also because talking through things helps my brain process them. But let me know in the comment section uh, how you guys feel about that. But since I can't see the future, uh, I'm going to continue to talk about motifs until told otherwise. So uh, this one obviously has the lyrics of I'm not throwing away my shot from my shot. But it also before that also references uh, my shot and right hand man and history has its eyes on you via that percussion like the drummer boy marching percussion line that they have in all three of those songs um towards the end of my shot towards the end of right hand man and also um in in history has its eyes on you and this time it's faster than in those other examples because the the bpm of this song is higher so uh it feels more energetic which makes sense because they're they're going into battle i do know enough about history to know that the the battle of yorktown was like the battle of the revolution it's like the decisive battle or like the the ending battle the, the the turning point whatever it's the important battle in the revolutionary war so i do know that much uh so i know that this is like an important moment as far as like revolutionary war goes so it makes sense that that they would bring that same like line of of percussion back but this time more energetic because the stakes are higher uh and then again continuing to reference my shot makes a ton of sense because the whole reason that hamilton is at war the whole reason that hamilton uh really really wanted war was from an ambitious social climbing social mobility standpoint which is something that he brings up in my shot and so tying all of these songs together is very interesting it's interesting to me that this is like the first chunk of songs that we have that reference the same thing like the motif thing has been happening basically for like the past like three or four parts but i think that this is the first time where we've gotten multiple songs in a row that reference the same either musical element or the same song itself and so that makes sense we've been we've been like in the thick of things as far as like war goes for several songs and we're we're still in it it just keeps ramping up in intensity but i find that interesting i'm not sure if they will continue to do that um uh, but it's great because they keep indirectly or directly referencing my shot and i love that song so i mean just if every song from here on out just is has like subtle nods to my shot i'm i'm gonna be happy about it but um yeah i found that interesting another thing that they brought back that i noticed was it's not directly bringing it back it's more like a, a, 
a subtle nod to it is when uh, Hamilton says, um, okay, now I don't even remember. He, he said, how do you say, uh, I don't remember what he said, but he, he asked Lafayette, how do you say something? And that reminded me of when Lafayette in the tavern in, that's the end of Aaron Burser, right? I don't know. The, the tavern scene where we like first get introduced to some of Lafayette's personality, um, he says, how do you say anarchy? Uh, and so that's like a, a nice little nod there. There was something else that I was going to mention, but I, I don't remember. So uh, hopefully I catch it when I, when I go back some. Uh, if not, then I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comment section. But um, yeah, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of references to previous songs in future songs. Like it, as we go along, the, the amount of little references to previous songs or previous moments that are embedded into this just continues to grow into this massive web of, of motif. It's, it's Hamilton is just a spider's web of, of musical elements. Oh, it's right here. He says, he says, how do you say no sweat? I go back to France. I bring freedom to my people if I'm given the chance. We'll be with you when you do. Go, lead your men. See you on the other side. Here we be. I, I like that they, they reference that, that like, First off, you know you're about to win a battle or a war or whatever when you already thinking about what you're going to do after you win. Like, you already you already thinking of the, the bottles of champagne you finna be popping after you win the championship. Um, so, yeah, but uh, when uh, Lafayette says, I go back to France and I, I free my people if I give a chance, uh, if I'm given the chance or, or whatever the case may be, I do know that the French Revolution was inspired in part by the, uh, like, American Revolution, and also that Lafayette was a key figure in the, the French Revolution, thanks to the comment section. So I like that they like actually, they reference that in this song, that's dope. Uh, with that being said, Alexander Hamilton said, okay, now I don't, I don't remember the exact way he worded it, but he was basically like, hey, when, when that happens, give me a call. Like we, we gonna back you up when y'all, you know, cause y'all backed us up for our revolution. So we're gonna back y'all up during y'all revolution. Did I miss that class in his? Did we did we actually back them up in their revolution? I, I don't remember being taught that we did. Did Hamilton just fib? Are you a liar, sir? You sit on a throne of lies. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. That could have actually happened. We could have sent troops to like help with the French Revolution, but I, I don't remember learning that, and so I don't know if that's a little tidbit that he just put in here for. The song like just like a friendly little banter thing or if we did actually renege on a promise to go help them because if if we did that's that's trash especially because they helped us so like golden rule you feel me but anyway that that going back i, I caught that section there and i like the little like nods to like actual historic happenings you know i know the entire play is a nod to historic happenings but like that specific line there I thought it was dope. Till the world turns upside down. Till the world turns upside down. Wait a minute. I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory. This is where it gets me. On my feet, the enemy ahead of me. Then I remember my allies is expecting me. Not only that, my allies is expecting. We gotta go, gotta get the job done. Gotta start a new nation, gotta meet my son. Take the bullets out your gun. Take the bullets out your gun. Okay, so um, more motifs, more like d direct references to my shot. Like the, the part that I rapped in the last video, they, they bring it back. Well, I mean, they, they start the, the same line with the, I imagine death so much it feels more like memory, but uh, then they, they change it up to kind of like show, similar to what they did with Eliza in the last video, the change of mindset of the character in this new moment with all of these, these different happenings. We now get a new thought process from the character. He has higher stakes now. He is not what I was saying he was back when Aaron Burr was talking about the differences between him and Alex. He is not the, the guy with nothing to lose. He now has an adorable wife. He now has Honey Badger Jr. on the way. Like you can't just be out here being all reckless, just open to death, you know? So, I mean, I guess you can, but you shouldn't. And so uh, I like that they did that. This isn't my shot reprise because like musically it's it's not 
similar in the way that Story of Tonight reprise is to Story of Tonight, but it 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 kind it kind of is though is what I'm saying. It it lyrically at the very least, and with the the slight percussion references to my shot, it's it's they related. I don't really know when Eliza appeared. She was just there. I I was catching like the, the background dancers. They was doing uh really interesting stuff um with their head. That sounds weird, but like they had like. Uh, when the world turns upside down, they did like a little like turn upside down thing with the, with their hand on their for over their forehead, and then as Hamilton was rapping, they were doing like some like little you know there there's a lot of like interesting choreography going on here is my point, and so that distracted me. That plus you know Hamilton referencing his own previous verse, sure distracted me, and so Eliza just appeared. I don't know when she got there. I don't know when she started moving, but uh she she was there. She was she was. Voila! You know, so, um, <laughs> I don't know either, man. So, I, I don't know if, if you saw my face, I was a little perturbed i was a little uh gobsmacked well, i was flabbergasted when he said take the bullets out your gun i was like uh aren't y'all supposed to be fighting but no that's i see what he's doing now i it took me a second i had to put it together i had to wait for things to develop um uh, that's pretty smart i don't know if they did that in real life or if that's just a just a line that they added into the song uh where he's basically like take out the bullets in your gun because we don't want your muskets to like smack up against something accidentally go off alert the enemy to us trying to sneak up on them and he was like basically they're gonna fight up close seize the moment or meet the business end of a bayonet which um dark but uh yeah it's it's really cool i don't know why that was the strategy they went with but it it definitely when he said take the bullets out your gun i was like mm, i don't know if that's a good idea chief but that's why he's a general and i'm not i'm a, a youtuber and he's a a military commander so i'm gonna I'm shut up i'm gonna let him do what he's doing clearly it works because we won the battle of yorktown <laughs> Which is why I don't have a British accent. Nope, I'm not even. I'm not even about to attempt a British accent because I know it would be so bad that the British would literally invade us again. I they they would come for me personally in the night, and I would just I would see red coats everywhere. I know that they don't wear the red coats anymore, but for dramatic effect, I would see red coats everywhere. So I'm I'm not even going to attempt the British accent. But you get the point. The point is we won the war, and clearly this strategy worked. But it it was. It, it, I, if I was a soldier, that, that's that's why I'm not in the military, because I would have had some questions, okay? I know you're not supposed to talk back to your commanders. I was giving Hamilton that advice before in Right Hand Man. No, wait, yes, no, no. Actually, it was it was Meet Me Inside. I'm bugging. Um, but the point is, I know you're not supposed to talk back to your commanders, but I would have had some questions, okay? I'd be like, uh, did I did I hear you right? You you said take the bullets out of the. Out of the gun? What are we doing with the bullets? Where are the bullets go? I would have some questions, is the point. Boys is in South Carolina, redefining bravery. We'll never be free until we end slavery. When we finally drop the British away, I forget is there waiting in Chesapeake Bay. How did we know that this plan would work? We had a spy on the inside, that's right. I can leave my head. I had a spy on the British government. I take the measurements, information, and then I smuggle it. Back to my brother. Time out, because a lot, a lot just happened. We just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put it all together in my head. So we went down to South Carolina with Lawrence, where he's fighting to redefine slavery. Fun fact, South Carolina is the state, actually the, the port of Charleston, is the port where like a ton of slaves, I don't remember the exact percentage, they, they taught it to us when we were growing up, but the port of Charleston in South Carolina is where majority of slaves came in to the, the United States. And so it makes sense that Lawrence would, would go down to South Carolina to fight for the, the end of slavery because that's it was a huge slave operation in South Carolina. Um, clearly, he failed. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I'm just, we, we know that this is not the time period in which people were freed. Well, some people were freed, but not us. So um, I appreciate your effort, Mr. Lawrence, but... Um, what happened? What? Why did? You, why were you not able to, to complete the mission? 
I feel like that's a big task. So I'm not I'm not going to throw no shade at you. I appreciate the effort. Then we got Lafayette and Chesapeake Bay, which Chesapeake Bay is also did they they lost Chesapeake Bay earlier in one of the earlier songs, right? I feel like that came up earlier. I don't remember exactly where it was, but but it it definitely came up in a previous song. So they've beaten them back at Yorktown. They're fighting in South Carolina. The fighting in Chesapeake Bay. So it, it looks like after Yorktown, it was like a domino effect of the, with the French help, we're now just like taking back all of the, the places that we have lost to them, which is dope. And then he says, how do we, how do we know this strategy is going to work? Because we have a spy and then they're like dangling the little like red coats, you know, and then uh, Mulligan jumps out. So Mulligan was the spy. I know that he left a few songs ago. And so I, I guess that when he left, he, he left to go be a spy for the British. I'm gonna go back a little bit because a, a lot happened there and I was I was trying to process it. I feel like I I feel like I missed something. He said, I take their measurements, their information, and I smuggle it. So I like the measurement thing there because my brain is immediately thinking that's like some wordplay because it's like Obviously, he's a tailor, so he's like literally doing measurements. But in the process of of spying on them, and I guess he's hearing like they're talking about their their strategy while they're getting fitted for their outfits or whatever, um, which is dumb. But okay, whatever. That that's what they did. Uh, and then on the the flip side of that, it's like this spy situation was set up with Hamilton basically saying we knew our strategy would work because of this spy, and so you you get. The, the, the tailor spy doing measurements and you can also view it as like how do how does our strategy measure up to their defenses like measure up do you, do you know what I'm saying so I like the little double meaning that they had there in that line and then we have like the the, the family connection of his lines where he goes um smuggle it to my my brothers in the covenant and then he says like something sons of liberty so like both son and brother are male family do you get what I'm does that make sense i don't know if that makes sense to people i don't think i explained that well but the, the point is in his little like opening after they explode out of he's explodes out of the clothes like one of the, the monsters coming out of your closet from monsters inc or something he, he has like a a few little quick lines i was like oh that's it oh that's interesting so the rapping in this is dope the lyricism is is always dope i can't sit down and like break down every single line for you but like sometimes Sometimes I just got to let y'all know that that was a hot bar. And I feel like like back to back in those two lines, there was like a, you know, you know? wanted to say that I thought it was really cool that when they were fighting and break dancing, break fighting, break, I don't, I don't know what you want to call it, but when they were fighting, the lights were flashing red, white, and blue. Like I, I caught that. Okay. It was, it was not lost on me. I don't know history that well, but I know that this is around the time that the UK was like consolidated into most of what we know it as today. I don't know for certain if the tea drinkers we were fighting had a red, white, and blue flag. If the UK did have its Union Jack flag during this time period, that would mean that all of the countries that were fighting all had red, white, and blue flags. Us, France, and the UK. Well, actually. Okay, so I just looked it up because it was going to bother me. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland was formed in 1801. Oh, I do know some things. Uh, when the Kingdom of Ireland was incorporated into the Kingdom of Great Britain, which already existed, which means if you if you put the English and Scottish flags together. No, so that means their flag was already red, blue, and white. So just just focused on the part at the end there when I came to the revelation. Red, white, and blue lights for everybody fighting. Okay, that's the point. I just thought it was cool, is, is the point. It has nothing to do with anything other than the fact that my brain thought it was interesting. So there you go. You guys don't have to yell at me in the comment section about how dumb I am and I don't know history. I do know kind of some things a little bit. Okay, okay, let's continue. Black and white soldiers wonder like if this really means freedom. Not yet. We negotiate the terms of surrender. 
Okay, this this won't be quick. I promise. So I I really I like that moment there with Lawrence wondering if black and white soldiers are wondering if this is going to be freedom, and then George Washington, who is somewhat infamous for how many slaves he owned, says not yet. I do know that George Washington not only owned hundreds of slaves, but also that he freed all or most of his slaves when he died. And so him being the one that says not yet, right after the the line of black and white soldiers wonder if this is going to be freedom is is basically a nod to him choosing to to be okay with slaves being freed but specifically after he has no more use for them aka after he dies and so yeah i thought that was a nice little nod there okay back to the back to the surrender of the british we negotiate the terms of surrender i see george washington smile and as a fallen foe's retreat i hear the drinking song they're singing Price that they're willing to pay. Insane! You cheat with the French, now I'm fighting with France and with Spain. I'm so blue. I thought that we made an arrangement when you went away. Okay, so how, I gotta I gotta check my little breakdown thing, because I gotta make sure that I didn't like miss this being called you'll be back reprise this is called this song is what comes next you'll be back what comes next interesting whatever the point is this this should have just been called you'll be back reprise because it's like the, it's it's the same it's the same okay they these these songs may not be identical twins but they're fraternal twins like the, the music is the same the top line melody is the same like th th three fourths of the lyrics are the same. Um, again, this would drive me insane. That's a bar, okay? Hit rewind, listen to what I just said, realize it all go together, okay? But anyway, um, no, but for real, this, as a performer, I would definitely sing the wrong song it, at least like two shows a week. Because uh, if it's this similar, my brain is gonna start singing. As he started singing this song, my brain started singing, you'll be back. I like him though. I like, I like that he's, he's, he's off he's he's not all the way there his elevator don't go all the way to the top floor okay um but it's interesting it's very interesting i also found it ironic that he's like complaining about fighting with the spanish when he's wearing the spanish colors right like that's that's what their flag looks like that's not what your flag looks like but whatever that's whatever red and gold often go with royalty so it's it's not like crazy that he's wearing red and gold but i just i just found it funny my brain thought it was amusing They say I'm so blue I thought that we made an arrangement when you went away You were mine to subdue Well, even despite our estrangement I've got a small query for you You've been freed do you know how hard it is to lead? You're on your own. Awesome. Wow. Do you have a clue what happens now? All alone across the sea. When your people say they hate you, don't come crawling back to me. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I I I like this a lot. Like I I, I like it's. I know it's it's like eighty nine point 
seven nine two percent the same but i i really i like it i like because like okay let me let me explain he's he's coping like in the last song he's also coping his cope in the last song is basically yeah you leave him but you're gonna see the error your ways and then you're gonna come back right like it's it's the toxic mindset that, that he had and then it like as the song goes on it like transitions into like yeah i'm also gonna kill you and your family uh your friends and family uh, to bring you back, you know, the abusive, toxic lover thing. And then now, in this song, which, again, they're not identical twins, but they're fraternal twins, okay? they That's that's 99.99999% identical DNA between these two songs. He's coping again, but in a, in a different way. It's kind of like he lost because the the French joined. I mean, he did lose because the French joined, but he, he sees it as cheating and... That's not how war works. Like that's that's not how war works at all. But I get like his from his like immature and also like mentally unstable mindset. He's like, you you shouldn't have help. I'm I should just be able to oppress you and you guys not be able to do anything about it. And so I like that this song continues him coping. You know, it 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 takes his coping from before of well you'll come back. It's it's not that big a deal. And even if I have to drag you back in a very deadly bloody way you'll come back and now when he's realizing okay i can't bring them back because they have help he's now coping that it was just cheating you know he's also hilarious it's like four or five really funny moments in like a minute and a half i'm so blue i thought that we made an arrangement when you went away you're on your own awesome wow do you have a clue what happens now don't come crawling back to me da 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 you're on your own oh okay so another thing that i another cope that i i just caught in this playback in this song so not only again he shifts his cope from oh you'll be back it, it doesn't matter even if i have to drag you back it's not that big a deal to cope of well actually i only lost because you guys cheated but also so that cope plus this song also has the cope of like you know i didn't even really want you that it's, it's kind of like when uh somebody hits on you and then you reject them and then they like turn around and be like i didn't even want you anyway like the, you know it's like they're trying to like deflect from the fact that like they got rejected by like acting like you're you're not that great but like we know that you actually wanted the college, that's why that's why you fought a war over them like you know so like to act like you didn't want all of those resources and people in your sphere of influence is is it's it's insane cope bro is like he hurt him bad but he don't want to admit it and so i just find that i find that so funny i really like this being like a part two of that earlier song showing that even in defeat he is still like I don't know. I don't want to say like he's not self-aware, but like, you know, he's he's immature, whether he believes that he's going to win or whether he knows that he is lost. Like he it doesn't matter. He's still going to keep that same like childish mindset. And I think that's dope. Also, he's hilarious. That Again, I have to say I'll see the same thing like two or three times and I'll laugh every time. It's so funny. Like he's yeah, he's hilarious. Theodosia, what to say to you? You have my eyes, you have your mother's name. When you came into the world, you cried and it broke my heart. The bird got a baby? There, there, there's a... You have my eyes and you have your mother's name. When you came into this world, you cried and it broke my heart. Yeah, he's talking about a baby, right? Well, clearly, Billie Jean is his lover, and she's just a girl who claims he is the one. Because, bruh, where did where I did not we didn't get no pregnant Theodosia, no nothing. I, that came that threw me for a loop. Um, okay, so I guess 
I get, and they named the the daughter after the mom. So like, I don't know what what like the female equivalent of a junior is, but we got Mrs. Cat Junior now. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Mrs. Cat, did you get it? Because I compared him to a cat in, in the other video, and Mrs. Theodosia, and then Bit Junior, Bit. Okay, whatever. The point is, um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta start this whole song over because I was, I was vibing with like the cutesy little feel of the song, and then he just dropped this nuclear bomb on my head that he is a dad now. I am dedicating every day to you, domestic life. Was never quite my style when you smile. You knock me out, I fall apart. If we lay a strong enough foundation, we'll pass it on to you. We'll give the world to you and you'll blow us all away. Someday, someday. Yeah, you'll blow us all away. Someday, someday. Bro, I'll be pausing at the most like like crazy time. Is that Hamilton? Okay, whatever. I'll see it in a second. I got some stuff to say. This song is like like sonically so different from everything. Like it is literally nothing else sounds like this. We just gone through like the motif marathon and now we're in a whole new world. Like it's just a Jasmine. Um, this sounds almost like the bright happy poppy nature of this sounds almost like like a commercial music like I, I could hear this playing in between pocket full of sunshine and unwritten because those was by the same artist but whatever you get what i'm saying like it has like that like happy cheerful vibe i could see a old woman running with a golden retriever or something on a sunny day as this song plays in the background while they talk about medication that'll change your life that definitely has side effects that they will speed through but that's we're not at that part of the commercial yet we're just at the the, the amazing part where it fixes everything that's wrong with you before giving you a new laundry list of stuff that's wrong with you my point is that this 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 is so different sonically it's it's so it's unique and the fact that he is singing in this like breathy whisper tone over top of it gives it such a i am whimsically talking to my baby as i lay over her crib i know that that's a chair not a crib but just just picture it with me and i i i love that but it's also it threw me for a little like it's a whole this is a whole this is a very shocking song to say that it's it's so subdued compared to everything else that we've we've gotten up into this point so yeah i just i don't know i don't i don't i don't know why this is like so shocking to me you know what this sounds like this sounds like if you ever watched like a like a a get ready with me video or like a a vlog or something of somebody like gardening or so i don't know one of those those youtube videos where they they'll play the royalty free music in the background while they like do some other activity where they're not talking to the screen that's the kind that's like how this sound it has that like cheerful you guys are on youtube hopefully you've seen a video that includes some kind of music like that maybe i can find some some music to like compare it to but yeah it, it has a, a, a very distinct vibe to it that is just so so different from everything else in this musical so far and that's why it, i i like gotten very content in like the okay every single song that we hear from here on out is going to reference a previous song and this still might i'm not saying that it won't but i'm saying that this part is is not like anything else and so that is for some reason blowing my brain so bad right now someday I am undone, my son. When you smile, I fall apart. And I thought I was so small. My father wasn't around. My father wasn't around. Swear that I'll, I'll be around, around for you. you. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll make a million mistakes. I'll make the world safe and sound for you. Okay, I I I love this song. I I I know I was like just like comparing it to like commercials about medicine and whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is I love this song. I it's 
wow, I'm not going to cry. So don't worry. Um, <laughs> I, I love that this song does this this thing where they have them harmonizing uh, and singing the, the same lyrics and how the first half of the song has uh, Aaron Burr talking to his, his daughter and the second half has, or I'd say the second, I don't know how, know how long the song is, but you get what I'm saying. The, the next part has um, Hamilton talking to his son. Missed opportunity to name him Honey Badger Jr. I'm just saying, but whatever. Philip is, is it's a name. Uh, sorry, sorry to anybody who named Philip who's watching this. Uh, Big Philly Phil. Uh, anyway, um, but the fact that they are both on this song talking to their newborns after the war and are talking about how much they love their their child in their own respective ways and then start to harmonize the, the same lines drives home the point that I talked about in previous videos, like during Wait For It, where throughout this story, we're consistently getting this Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr dichotomy where we are consistently shown that they are similar but very different similar in a, in a variety of different ways for example they're both very ambitious both want to climb up the social hierarchy both have the same taste in women angelica i'm looking at you both have the same taste in jobs right hand man whole awkwardness where he gets thrown out the room situation i'm looking at you uh, but they also have a bunch of differences, which are highlighted consistently, and I'm assuming will continue to be highlighted consistently because at some point, somebody, I won't say who, but somebody goes on to be a shooter, okay? I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, but this song shows us another way in which they're similar, which is that they're both loving fathers. You know, they're, they both had children around the time of the end of the war, and they both are, are aspiring for a better future for their child they're both looking lovingly on their children picturing a future where they're older and they're they're living a great life and i think that that's really dope you know it really drives home the point that while they are rivals and i guess at some point in the future enemies they are two sides of the same coin and with any coin there are going to be differences you know whatever the the print on the, the metal is on either side of the coin but there are also similarities the the coin is made of the same material so to speak um and so i really like that they're doing this but they're not it's it's a show don't tell they're not saying hey our guys are similar but different but they're they're showing you via showing them as parents they're, they're similar mindsets, you know? I just remembered that Theodosa, the, the mom, Theodosa Senior, Theodosa, Theodosa Senior, that she is married to, she got a whole other husband. I guess when the, when the British went back because they lost, they retreated, she stayed and had a baby with birth. I don't, I don't know how that worked out. Okay, that's not for me to figure out. But the point is that they both found lovers, found partners, had children, and are both aspiring for their children to have better life now that the, the, the country is changing, now that they've shaken up the world, turned the world upside down. That sounded like the end to a song. So before we, before this stops, um, I, I really like the choice to have Alex and, and Aaron Burr, like they're, they're actual people, Lynn and I'm forgetting Aaron Burr's actor's name, but I, I like the choice to have them sing the song together and harmonize. And I'm not going to lie to you. I, I like Aaron Burr's voice better. That's just, it's just, it's the buttery, it's, it's smooth. It's not his, he, the boy got the pipes on him. Okay. I like his voice better. But I like that we have the two of them singing together because the, the differences in their voices match the differences in their personalities. Stay with me here. Lynn's voice is, at least in this song, is a lot more emotive in, as far as it's, uh, his inflection. Like you, it, it feels like he's more emotional as he's singing this song, like when, you, when you're listening to it. Uh, it's also a lot rougher. It's a, it's a lot more 
it's raspy. I don't mean this in a bad way. I'm just saying it's it's different than Burr's voice, right? But it it matches his character so well because that is exactly all the actresses I just used to describe Lynn's voice in this song is Alex's. That's his personality, you know. And then on the flip side, I just knocked this down. Aaron Burr's personality matches this guy's. Uh, I think his name's Leslie. Is that is he, is he Leslie? I think he's Leslie. Matches his um, voice because Aaron Burr is more subdued. He is more smooth. He is generally less rough than than Alex and and slash Lynn are. And I think that that's really that didn't. I didn't, that didn't click for me until I got here to hear them sing together. And that's not even like, that's setting aside the fact that like their actual voices, I think pair really well together because the differences in their voices complement each other. There's, there's a light and dark kind of rough and soft, like they, it just works together for me. I like it a lot. And so I think it's really cool, but I didn't, I didn't make the connection that their voices match the personality, like their actual singing voices match the personalities of their respective characters until we got to this song. And uh, that's another reason I love it. I, I just really, I like this song. Like the, the, the last song was cool. I Oh no, last two songs, sorry. The last two songs were cool. I, I like this one the most out of all of them because it's like, it's in no way overproduced. In fact, it's actually very subdued in the, the singing and it's very subdued in the production, but it, it, my mind has been blown like four times as I've been listening to this song. And uh, I think that's really, really dope. Someday, someday. I may not live to see our glory. Alex Limbaugh, there's a letter for you. It's from John Lawrence, I'll read it later. But I will gladly join the fight. No, it's from his father. His father. And when our children tell our story, they'll tell the story of tonight. On Tuesday, the 27th. No, no, my son no. was killed in a gunfight. No! British troops retreating from South Carolina. Bruh, why? We almost made it through this video without me getting emotional. Why they kill my boy, bro? I know that that that, that probably happened in history. That's why they that's why they doing it. But why? 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 I'm not. I, I'm almost ready. We almost out of this video, okay? And no, 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 no. I didn't even. I didn't put it together with the sad, sad story tonight rendition and the blue light. Which, by the way. The actor for Lawrence singing his behind off right now. Okay, the vibrato is hitting, but um, I didn't, I didn't get it. And she was like, "Oh, it's from his dad," and I was like, "That's weird." Like he grown, right? I know that they're not as old as the actors are right now in these like moments that they're acting out at this point in the the musical. But I was like, I don't, it was I didn't click yet. Okay, and then she said when she said the date, I was like, "Nah." Nah, nah, ah, ah, okay, all right, all right, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna make it through, I liked Lawrence, bro, he was, I don't know if he's still my, I, I, Lafayette then kind of, I, I like Lawrence and Lafayette a lot, is my point, Mulligan's cool, but I ain't really bonded with him in the same way, I'm gonna be real with y'all, okay, I appreciate your spy work and your funny moments, but Lawrence and Lafayette are like two of my favorite. They might be my two favorite characters in this whole musical right here. And so this is not a good day for me. Okay. I was just talking about how great the other song was. And now they didn't killed my boy. Look how they mess with my boy. They'll tell the story of tonight. On Tuesday the 27th, my son was killed in a gunfight against British troops retreating from South Carolina. The war was already over. As you know, John dreamed of emancipating and recruiting 3,000 men for the first all-black military regiment. His dream of freedom for these men dies with him. Tomorrow there'll be more of us. 
Alexander? Are you all right? No! I have so much work to do. After the war, I went back to... That's... That's where I'm supposed to... That, yeah. I, and I don't want to hear y'all complaining in, in, in the comments, neither. Because I... One, I didn't choose where to stop. And two, I can't go on right now anyway. I need to go... I need to go have a moment. This is terrible. This is... This, this, my... My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. This is the worst news I've gotten this whole time. Oh my goodness. They really... And the fact that he he said when he got sad, he as in him, sorry. Let me put this together. The fact that he said, I should really just be talking about this in the outro, but I don't care. I'm going to say it right now. The, the fact that Hamilton was like, hey, I'm emotional. I need to go work right now. It's like a very, that's a very three core thing. We talked about in that. We talked about that in the last part. Uh, so if you, if you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then go, that's what I meant to say. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Go check the last part, uh, and that will explain what I'm talking about. But that's like a very like three response, like to throw yourself into your work uh, when you're emotional to to process. But um, this is so trash. This is so trash. South Carolina has done a, a ton of terrible things. This this might be the worst thing. And I I also don't like that they said that his his dream dies with him. Did nobody else? Did nobody else want free the slaves? Nobody nobody thought. Like we was worth freedom like that. That that was we didn't we didn't just die and help y'all in this this fight for for freedom for the country. Like that wasn't whatever. We're not gonna litigate the ins and outs of slavery right now. But that's so that's so trash. That is so trash, bro. That is so trash. Okay, people have already told me. I know this is supposed to be an outro, but I don't I don't care. I got stuff to say, so I'm gonna say it. And if you don't like it, click off the video, bro. So. Um, I know that, that people have already told me that this is going to be um, double casting, and so some of the actors will come back in new roles in in Act Two. If if the actor for Lawrence don't come back in another role, bro, I'm a fight all of y'all like personally. I'm a I'm a fly to to New York or whatever, and everybody in the crowd, everybody in the cast, y'all gonna have to y'all gonna have to duke them up, okay? Not the women. I'm not gonna fight y'all, but all the men, y'all, y'all gonna have to fight me personally, bro, because that's so, tr that's so trash, bro. This feels like watching Game of Thrones over again, and and everybody died for no reason. They didn't have to put me through that. Y'all didn't have to put me through this. Why didn't y'all kill him off off screen? Why why did I have to see that? He had to the sat. I whatever. Sh shut up. I'm going to outro now. Goodbye. Okay, so that happened Lawrence is dead okay um I don't really have much to say in this outro songs were good the why did they kill him why why I don't understand like I know I know why like conceptually logically I understand but like my heart doesn't understand you feel me like I don't I don't get it they didn't have to they didn't have to do me like that so um Yeah, whatever. Y'all, y'all saw I like the other songs. <sighs> Would y'all sad when Lawrence died? Is this like just a me thing? Would, did I bond with Lawrence because I'm black and he was trying to free the slaves? Is, is that did, white people? Let me hear from y'all in the comment section. Was y'all rocking with Lawrence? I need to know. There's, there's, I, I was, was it just me? Cause I liked Lawrence a lot, bro. He was funny. He was loyal. He had my boy Hamilton back. He, he shot old Charles Lee in the face or the leg or the foot or whatever. I don't know. He might have shot him in the big toe. I don't know where he shot him. I wasn't there. And then he just died. He just died. Why? Next part coming soon. Definitely make sure to subscribe. Not to miss me go on emotional, dramatic ass rants like this about people who are still alive. That dude, whoever the actor is, is somewhere in a mansion being fabulously wealthy off playing that role so well. But, uh, I'm hurt, okay? I'm hurting. So, yeah. If it wasn't clear, I'm very invested in this musical. 
I like certain characters more than others. That happened to be one of my favorite ones. And he just died like that. All, all, all blue light story of tonight. That's that's a song I really love, even though a bunch of other people don't really don't really rock with that. So I really like that song. I can't even hear that song the same no more. That's maybe maybe that's why y'all don't like that song as much as I think y'all should like the song. Um, but yeah, that was a thing that happened. So um <clears throat> Thanks for watching the video. I will see you next time for more for, for more emotional rants with Amari. Hit the subscribe button. It just dawned on me that Lawrence is the one who said I died for him in Alexander, like the, the Alexander Hamilton opening number, Alexander Hamilton. So they kind of told me this was coming, but I didn't I didn't catch it before. Okay, I didn't I didn't know that that, that what that's what that meant. Okay, I didn't know that it was gonna be like this. Okay, so um, yeah. I, before all y'all scream at me in the comment section about the, which you probably already have, but whatever. The point is, I didn't, I didn't have that in mind when when he died. So yeah, that caught me off guard. Um, anyway, you guys have a great day. Peace. Twilight. These guys no blues A new love, but we know that it accrues Like time in a cue, red shampoo, new bamboo Much more of it will ensue I'm caught in this trance in loo Up sinking down in the stew You change up the brew, now life tastes so brand new It's delicious like fondue Under the moonlight tonight Stars and hot shimmering Shimmering, who I am You're a bad light, you are. Nice.